Shalom, my dear brothers and sisters. It is an amazing day. Remember, it is a very beautiful day that I release these powerful words over your life. I don't take this time for granted. I don't take it. I know someone who's watching me right now, you are going through things that you cannot comprehend. But listen, you are not watching this video by mistake. There is a reason as to why you have clicked it. God wants you to know certain things and aspects about your life because a lot has been going on in your lives that you do not know about that god wants to project light on that area remember you are the light of this world you are the light god has made you the light of this world today's word is they are planning to betray you they are planning to betray you they are people around you listen these people are closer than you think they are right in front of you these people have been monitoring you every step that you take every move that you take they have been tracking you they have been studying your life some of them have been taking notes what you do how you react to situations what you eat where you go to your workplace they have been studying you remember that the enemy has been noticing taking note of your character scripture says that the enemy or the thief moves around like a roaring lion seeking for whom to devour if he finds you idle if he finds you without work to do brothers and sisters he will devour you if he finds no word in you he is going to devour you and how is he going to devour you i'm glad you asked with deceit he's going to devour you first of all with his uh deception if you have no word in you if you are not rooted with the word of god the enemy will come out with his own word it will be as though it is the word of god and yet it has deception that is how the enemy deceives so be very careful that is why i always encourage people to meditate on the word of god day and night so that you don't fall into the trap of the enemy we are living in a world where there are a lot of deceptive deceptive things where there are a lot of liars where there are a lot of evil people ready to betray you. I want to read to you a scripture that is going to be a blessing to you. This scripture is from the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 47 to 49. I repeat, Matthew, chapter 26, verse 47 to 49. And it reads, and while he was still speaking, behold, Judas, one of the twelve, with a great multitude, with souls and clubs, came from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now his betrayer had given them a sign, saying, Whomever I kiss, he is the one. Seize him immediately. He went up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi. And he kissed him. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? This was someone who walked with Jesus. This was one of the twelve disciples. But he betrayed Jesus. Now the scripture says, And while he was still speaking, Behold, Judas, one of the twelve, with a great multitude, with swords and clubs, came from the chief priests and the elders of the people. This is was while Jesus was still speaking. Some of you, while you are still speaking, the enemy is coming. 
while you are still working, the enemy is coming. And this enemy is someone that you know. Someone or someone that you knew who has conspired against you. They were never of you. Though they seemed that they were of you, they were never of you. For they were against you. Now the scripture makes it clear that Judas came with a great multitude. Listen, they were, they were going to arrest one man, but they came with a great multitude. That shows you how powerful Jesus was. If Jesus wanted, he would have destroyed them. But it was God's will that he dies. It was God's will that Jesus dies for you and for me. That was his plan. So they came with a great multitude, with swords and clubs. It was like they were going to beat a thief. And yet they were coming after a righteous man. It was like they were coming after a robber. And yet they were coming after a righteous man. It is amazing that we are living in a generation where people are betraying others. Where good and righteous men are receiving a reward. And that reward is evil. This is the world that we are living in. Where the evil are being rewarded. The corrupt people are being rewarded. Where the righteous man is suffering. Where the righteous man is being abused. Now, 48 makes it clear and says, Now his betrayer had given them a sign. Some of them, people, have given your enemies a sign. Your betrayers have given them a sign. That if, you, if this happens, then you will know this is the one. They had given them a sign saying, Whomever I kiss, he is the one. Sees him. Notice <laughs> that his enemies didn't even know who Jesus was. The enemies did not actually know who Jesus was. That is the fact. Though they had seen him, some of them didn't know. Because notice that the disciples of Jesus, now this is a powerful revelation. The disciples of Jesus had developed themselves to an extent that they looked alike. They walked with Jesus to the extent that they looked like Jesus. They had the same dress code. Probably they had the same hair. They had the same way of, of, of doing things. Even the speech. That is the way God wants us to do. That when we go out to the world, we are like him. Because we are his ambassadors. Judas says, Rabbi. He said, Rabbi to the master. Brothers and sisters, this is a word for you. That they are ready to betray you. They are planning to betray you and they are close. Until next time, God bless you.